Welcome to a quick introduction to CCAN, an open source, open data platform used by most of the governments around the world to publish and manage their open data. Uh, today, I'll go through, through CCAN, I'll show the, it, its main features from the data publishers, data users, and data editors point of view. So basically, we'll sh be showing what can be, do, uh, what can be done using the web, web interface. Uh, and I'll go through the features like uploading the data set, uh, adding new, uh, new, new members of the organization, grouping the data sets, and adding additional information of, of, on the open data portal. So what you, see, what you see now in front of you is a CCAN, is a, the, the, ins, the portal that, that is installed out of the box, so whatever you can uh, download from GitHub, the, the latest version of CCAN. This is how it will look like once you, once you deploy it on your server, on, on, on some cloud infrastructure, it doesn't matter where, but this is how it, how it looks uh, straight out of the box. Uh, so as I mentioned earlier, CCAN is the is the platform used by most of the largest governments around the world, like central governments, local governments. Uh, so the, one of the first uh, CCAN user was the uh, data.gov.uk. This is the open data portal of, of the United Kingdom. Then the, the, uh, there is data.gov. Uh, and the, one of the recent additions to CCAN family is European uh, Union Open Data Portal, which I think at the moment has the uh, the largest amounts of data sets, data sets, uh, I, would, I would probably guess in the world because they, they have almost half a million of data sets uh, published on, on the CCAN instance. Uh, so let's go back to, let's go back to CCAN. So, so let's see what CCAN can do and how, 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 do, we, how do we use CCAN. Uh, so I would like to start with explaining these uh, tabs here. So one of them is organization and another one is groups. So sometimes the, these two can be uh, confusing uh, because most of the time users, they think that group is a group of individuals, an organization that those individuals belong to. Uh, so uh, I'd like to explain here, uh, explain this using some, some examples. So organization is basically a data publisher. So when we create an organization, we create an organization or, or department within the, within the data publisher. So if this is the UK central government open data portal, uh, the organizations are publishers. So as you can see, that there is a, a hierarchical way of grouping the organizations. Uh, so there are diff different departments, different, uh, diff different authorities, uh, which, are, which are part of, uh, part of the, uh, part of the United Kingdom government. Uh, Probably better example uh, in terms of clarity would be Open uh, Open Data Northern Ireland. That's a uh, Northern Ireland government open data portal where it's quite obvious who are the who are those uh, who are those organiza organizations publishing the publishing open data. So like uh, City Council, Land and Property ser Services, and so on and so forth. Uh, then there is a question: What what is group? A group is a, is, a, is a catalog of data sets. So basically different organizations, they can put uh, data sets into, into groups. Uh, let's use an example of uh, Newark, which is a city in, in, in New Jersey in the United States. So here we can, we can see that there are organizations. And as, as we can see, there are 23 organizations which one way or the other report to the, the central authority of New York City and their data publishers. And when we go to the groups, we see that it's some kind of catalog. So there are business, the uh, business related data sets, government with this infrastructure related data sets. And if we go to, to this group, we can see that, uh, that almost all the organizations which, are, which belong to which belong to city of New Jersey, they are the data, data publishers who are contributing to, to this group. So let's go back to our, uh, our CCAN instance, demo instance, and let's create an organiz a few organizations. So one of them will be, uh, let's call it Fireware Demo. So we just create the organization. Okay, I'll just... Do 
like this. Oh. So we have an organization. Uh, as you can see, when we create an organization, we can see activity stream of the organization. We can uh, we can we can have we have an about tab where we can add additional data, which I I skipped in the beginning. But basically, we can add here the description of the of the organization, and here this is where the data sets will appear once we publish them. Uh, the user, whether it's a re registered user or an, uh, an editor or an admin of the organization, they can follow uh, the organization. So what it means by following that, whenever the new activity happens within the organization, like publishing a new data set, uh, deleting data set, uh, making some changes, that user who chooses to follow, to follow the organization, they will get an update. And s same applies to, to, data, uh, to data sets, to, to the groups. So basically, uh, all the updates can be sent directly to your to your inbox if you decide to uh, to follow the uh, to, to follow the organization and data set. Uh, so let's go and create another organization which we'll use uh, a bit later. So so now we have two organizations and let's create a group. Let's call it source so we have a group and basically both of the organizations they will be able to uh, to contribute the data sets to uh, to this group and we can create as many as many as many groups as we need uh, and the, the purpose of the groups is basically to use the to ease the the, uh, the way the, the users the data users access and, and finds the find the data so uh, like if we go back to to one of the live portals, as you can see, uh, City of Seoul for the, uh, here in, in the United Kingdom, they, cho they chose this way of, uh, of grouping the data sets and you can see they put in different categories which are relevant to, uh, to the local government uh, organization. So when we go on to groups, we see the same groups and different data sets are being added by uh, the organization. And you can see that here there aren't many that's this is on Seoul for city council and some some ecology unit. Uh, so both, basically, those two organizations they are the ones they are the contributors to uh, to, to, to this open data platform. Uh, so let's go back to to our instance. And once we create the organizations, we have a group where we'll be able to add our data sets. Let's go and upload uh, the data set. There are a couple of ways of, like, at least a few ways uh, of of, uh, of adding uh, adding data sets. So uh, now I'll show the manual, and uh, later I'll I'll show so-called harvesting uh, feature, and also of course the CKC can has a quite a rich API, which can also be the way of of, of automating the data upload. Uh, so let's go. Let's add the data set. Here you can see a standard CKN of uh, CKNs metadata schema and let's just use this uh, we can add description and then we can tag so tag is another way of uh, categorizing uh, the data set so it's just uh, something with exclamation mark will be accepted so I'm just choosing the random meaningless tags basically those tags will helps for users if they, if they mean something like for example healthcare they help they help group the data sets published not necessarily by the same uh, the same publisher or uh, published not necessarily the same uh, the same groups of data sets. Uh, here we have license, so we'll just leave as this. Like I say, I'm I'm part of UK government, so I'm just on this. 
uh, we can choose the organization that we would like to assign this uh, this data set. So let's leave it as it is. Uh, there's an, uh, there's a, this feature of making a data set either public or private. So let's let's make it public this time. But again, it can be some kind of uh, internal authorization, part of an internal authorization process where the data set can be uh, can be pending until it gets approved. Uh, then we, uh, I'll, I'll leave this blank, but probably this is quite self-explanatory. What's, what, what's here? So basically, you add the, you add the, 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 the standard metadata, uh, metadata information, and then here there is a there is a way of customizing, like without actually doing anything with the code, uh, customizing the metadata schema. So once again, I'll just show what how it works because. Uh, the thing that I like about uh, about these fields that they they actually extend, so uh, it's not it's not limited to three as much as you and uh, additional data you need. So you just need add, to add the keys and values, and you have uh, you extend the metadata scheme to to the to the requirements that you have. Uh, so now I'll move to adding the actual data, and as I mentioned, there are two ways of uh, of adding the the data manually so it's either upload from for, from the, the uh, from your own local drive or linking to the link to the data set which is actually sitting uh, sitting elsewhere so like it can be your aws in, um, instance it can be uh, it can be data set pub, uh, published by some uh, some other organization it doesn't matter I'll, I'll go through both of them so now i'll choose the up, up to upload the data set and i go to To my local folder, I choose Cycle Rex. Uh, this is a data set that I borrowed from the uh, City of Glasgow uh, Open Data Portal. And uh, sure, uh, I'll, there's a reason why I, why I like this particular data set because it has geospatial data, and then it can be visualized very nicely on the map. So I'll show you that in a in a few in a few moments. So I'll just name this data set as. A private demo data sets. Uh, I can add it manually, but C can actually can recognize that this is a CSV file. I can add some description to, to the actual to the actual uh, to the actual file data set. And that's it. I just do finish now. And data set should be up. Yep. So this is this this is the metadata schema because I didn't add much. So as you can see, there isn't. Uh, there isn't much here apart from uh, where it was updated, created, and those uh, custom metadata fields that I created. Mm, and now what we can do, we can, uh, we can add data set to the group. So we'll just add to the, to the group that I created earlier. Uh, here activity stream, so the registered users can see what's happening with the data set, whether it's deleted, uh, changed, uploaded, so any changes done to data set can be seen in activity stream, and if I follow that, I will be receiving these uh, notifications. Uh, so let's go back to the data set. And what I wanted to show you here, I wanted to show you the preview. So Seekan has uh, data set preview capabilities, so it's, it's, it's not a very fancy uh, data, uh, the data analytics uh, it's just uh, it's just uh, the wait for the for the user to have a feel what is uh, what is within the data set so it has a grid a grid view which is basically standard view of what can uh, can users see when 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 the user opens the, the CSV file uh, then there is graph so user who knows what is inside the data set they can uh, try they can they can visualize the data set and the, there are five types of, of graphs uh, graphs that can that can be used here. So you just need to choose the appropriate axis one, axis two, and then my favorite one is the, the map. So basically, because I used Glasgow's city cycle racks data set, I can see where all the cycle racks within the boundaries of city of city of Glasgow here in the UK are on the open open street map. So that was the that was one way of adding a data set. Uh, the, let's go to let's try another one, which uh, which is adding a data set from the local drive. 
So it's again very simple, very simple way. Uh, let's call the data set. Uh, Northern Ireland data sets. Oh, you have seen a second what I mean. Why, why is Northern Ireland? Okay, I'll, I'll tag this one as transport. Uh, Belfast local government and so and so on and so forth. Um, I will add it to the same organization. I'll make the data set public. I'm not gonna do any any of these. Uh, click add data and this time I will link the data set and I will use the data set published by Northern, uh, by Northern Ireland government and that's the TransLink bus stop list. So what I need to do is like this, the same view of the, so what I need to do, I'll just copy, copy this link. I'll add it here. It will automatically recognize the type. Uh, I'll just click finish. And the data is data set is again uploaded. So we can do the same thing with the preview. And Seekan has exactly the same. It doesn't, it doesn't matter where how the way it was it was uploaded. We can again we can see the grid view, we can see the map, and we can see the bus stops in the Belfast, the translink bus stops in the city of Belfast in Northern Ireland. Um, now, another thing that I wanted to uh, to show, and the third type of, third way of, of, of adding the data sets, and that way is, is used uh, by these guys a lot, so a European data, European Union Open Data Portal, they harvest a lot of uh, data sets, not a lot of, I think probably all of them, they're, they're being harvested from the, uh, they, they chose to call them catalogs, so they are different data sources, so governments and governmental organizations within uh, those 28 uh, member states, they, they publish their open data, uh, open, open data sets, and this portal, they just harvest them without actually too much effort from either side. So let's try and harvest some data. Uh, using our demo instance. So what I need to do here, I'll just click harvest. I need to add harvest source. So I'm choosing to harvest the data from, uh, from one of these portals and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll harvest the data from Birmingham Data Factory, so it's, it's, it's uh, Birmingham City Open Data Portal. Uh, they have 38 data sets, and those data sets should be, uh, within within a few minutes, should be all harvested to, uh, to our Open Data Portal, our Seekan instance. So, sorry, that was supposed to be here. I just need to copy and paste the URL here. That's it. Uh, I can add description of the harvester source. Again, it's not mandatory. Uh, there is only one source type here in, 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 in this instance, but this can be easily customized and new, new, uh, new, as you can see here, new, new folders, new servers, and new, uh, new data sources and other uh, type of open data portals can be harvested as well. Also, uh, guys, okay, so as I said, uh, European uh, European Union is using that, that extensively. Obviously, data data.gov, the United States government, uh, they do that as well. So, uh, all the agencies they they also publish their data, and the guys at, at data.gov they just harvest them from there. 
and exactly the same way, the same way uh, the data.gov, uh, the UK guys do. So let's go back to our uh, our harvesting source. Uh, so that, uh, okay, let's see. So this is CCAN. Uh, the frequency of harvesting can be set, as you can see, for, there are quite a few quite a few choices. It can be constantly communicating with the uh, with the satellite portal. It can be it can be once a day, once a month, once a week. I choose I will choose manually. I will add this to separate uh, organization. I'll add this to this harvester demo, the organization that I created earlier. And what I will do now, I'll just save it. Uh, nothing happens now because I said uh, I said harvesting to be to be initiated manually. So I need just to click admin here and do reharvest. So I need to confirm that I'm uh, doing. And as you can see, the sources with a large uh, number of these can take significant significant amount of time to finish harvesting. So, if, for example, I decide to choose uh, harvesting of almost half a million from a European Union Open Data Portal, it probably will take a while for us to do that. And that's why I chose Birmingham, which has 38 data sets, and we should be able to see while we are still uh, still doing this the demonstration, all of them being being here. So I just confirm that. As you can see, harvest will, will start shortly with the updates. So it hasn't started yet. Uh, let's do a refresh. And it started. And we already see that one, uh, one data set is already harvested. So let's let's leave Harvester to do his job, uh, and in the meantime, I would like to show uh, how the organizations can have different users uh, with, the, with the different access rights, different data publishing uh, publishing rights. So I'll go to to our first organization, which we which has two datasets, which we both were both uh, uploaded uh, manually. And now I just need to click manage here. And as you can see, again, there is some, some kind of a metadata about, about the organization, but uh, I, what, what interests me is being here, uh, members. So at the moment, I'm the, only, I'm the only member of this organization. I have admin access rights. And for, and for that reason, I can add new members. There are three, three different roles within the organization. So one of them is admin. Which, which I am, so I can do everything. I can add and delete data sets, edit them, manage organization members, add them, remove them, invite them. Uh, editor is doing exactly the same apart from what we are, we are about to do here. And member, uh, the registered member can, by default, what he, can, what he can allows, they can see the private data sets, but they cannot add new data sets. So the, if the data set is set, public, uh, set to be public, anyone, with the URL can go and see what can, can access the data set. So again, there are two different ways of adding the, adding the users. You can either choose the existing users. There, are no, there aren't many users in this instance, so uh, I cannot choose by, by username. Uh, or you can add the email. Uh, so you can enter the email here and assign the role. And once you assign the role, you add the member, and that, that member is being sent an email where it gets the, the, the email within the invitation to become a user, uh, editor, or, or or admin of the of the organization, and change the password and start using the start using the portal. So that's the that's the workflow. That's the simple uh, simple workflow of of Ccan. Uh, so we let's go back and have a look how is how is our harvesting doing. Still working, so we have still three data sets here. So, okay, so we still have some time. Uh, and another thing that I wanted to show you is so called pages extension, uh, which allows adding new pages, adding new blog posts. Uh, so, we, for example, here what we can do, we can add uh, a few more, or <laughs> depends how, how, the how many organization requires, but uh, new items on the in, in, in this tab, like uh, let's see, for example, Northern Ireland, they have this amount of so 
you can add a contact form, you can add about tab, you can have news uh, about your open data initiative. Uh, so the, these are the different extensions uh, which can be used. So the CCAML has quite a few extent extensions which can be found on GitHub. So uh, because CCAML has a rich uh, open, so open source contributors community, so there are quite a few extensions. So the guys here at Northern Ireland, they also have showcases where they are showing how citizens, users, entrepreneurs are making use of open data. Uh, so let's go back here. What we can do. Page, we can add the date. Uh, we choose to make it public so we can see. I choose it to be it in the menu so it will appear here. And we just clicked add. And here we have Fiverr uh, Fire demo page. So we can add a few more of them. And we can add the content here. So whatever is necessary can be can be can be added here uh, text wise. And once we are happy with our text, whatever we need to, to add here, we just click save and we have this here so and we can add more of them if we need we can add more pages uh, another test page okay just using the random uh, names uh, add the date of the post I'll choose to be it in the menu I'll click the second one second one add and we have another one so once we are happy with what we wanted to publish, whether it's a news post or blog post, that, 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 that goes as an additional item here. So as you can see, there is some, some, some minimum, uh, minimum content management system here in the, in the CCAN. And if, if, if the CCAN is used for publishing the, the, the data rather than just uh, adding more, more content, content is perfectly fine. But you probably know there are loads of uh, different integrations with different content management systems, uh, and that, that that can be extended. And again, as, as I mentioned, there are there are different extensions, different uh, uh, probably created by different uh, different contributors. And please feel free to to to, to check them out on the GitHub. Uh, so let's go back to our harvester to see whether we have. Uh, Finished. The whether the harvesting is finished, and yes, we can see thirty-eight datasets uh, have been harvested to our harvested demo. So there are thirty-eight datasets on uh, Birmingham Data Factory, and we have thirty-eight datasets here in our uh, in our organization harvested demo, which which, which was which was meant to harvest all the all the datasets from uh, from uh, from Birmingham uh, City. Uh, council so it's exactly the same way that these guys do so they have the different different harvesters they are called here catalogs and as you can see the uh, Spanish open data portal Italian open data portal they all are harvested here and, and it's done exactly the same way that, that you've seen here uh, so the, the data sets were, which which have been harvested they bring their own uh, their own metadata so the way they were tagged by uh, by Birmingham City Council uh, data publishers. It's, it's here, so we see the different formats, uh, uh, different different licenses. So if we go to any of the data sets, you can see that there's a description. There are different, the different data sets and different sources. Uh, the time of the creation is obviously the one, the, the time that we we uploaded the, the upload, we harvested this data set to this to this instance, but the rest is exactly the, the same way that that uh, people at, uh, at Birmingham done during the during the publishing of this of this data set. Uh, so I think I showed uh, all the all the main features that I wanted to show during this demonstration. 
for more, uh, please feel free and I encourage you to, uh, to visit ccan.org to, 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 to go through their documentation. And the, again, the, there's a lot of information about extensions that I mentioned on, on CCAN, uh, C, uh, uh, CCAN's GitHub. Uh, but please feel free to, to look around and happy using of CCAN. Thank you.